where real change begins. Hey everyone, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, I hope they're going the best they possibly can be. I thought this video would make a great sort of little Christmas special, if you will. We're going to be talking about one of my favourite Christmas films, probably now of all time, and one of my favourite films of this year, and that is Apple TV Plus's Spirited. Spirited stars Ryan Reynolds, Will Ferrell and Octavia Spencer as it follows the ghost of Christmas present who is nearing retirement, which would mean a return to Earth. He set his sights however on an unredeemable man named Clint Briggs, who may end up helping the ghost come to terms with his own past as well as change his self's own future. I will start off by saying I love this movie so, 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 so much. It is an absolute festive delight, and that's coming from me. I'm someone who doesn't really make a point out of watching several Christmas films on the lead up to the big day every year, but this movie, along with a select other few such as maybe Arthur Christmas and such, are ones that I would feel compelled to go back to every year and of course with this being Spirited's first year of release I guess it'd be next year I would feel compelled to go on back to it. So I think that sort of says a lot about what I think on this film. It just made me feel so so festive and so so joyful and in ways it made me reflect on how I act myself sometimes. Now the story is of course quite familiar and I pointed that out in my initial Twitter reaction to the film when it first released. We've seen this before. In fact, we've seen this a lot of times before. The Tale of a Christmas Carol. It's nothing new, it's very oversaturated, but here it feels quite refreshed and I think that's down to the execution of the film and the use of just these incredible talents from Will Ferrell to Ryan Reynolds. The kind of actors who no matter the project are just a real smile to see. They do a great job in this movie and for sure the character development and the setup of their ways could have been done better and could have included more but I found what we did get saved to be more than fine because what this film lacks in certain departments it makes up for in others such as that festive feeling, that laughter, that coziness and the punchlines to certain humour, the visuals, how it's directed and in my opinion the absolute standout of this film, the music, the soundtrack is so damn Good. You're talking about my favourite from the bunch, A Christmas Morning Feeling by Will Ferrell. Or unredeemable, this quite personal to the character, but absolute banging tune that would just be great to get in the moment of and sing out loud. Or the curtain call of Christmas feeling that takes place near the end of the film. Or do a little good, or good afternoon, or presence laments, or the story of your life, or the view from up here. It is just hit after hit after hit with this movie's music and soundtrack. And probably that is the reason why over a month after this film, the the soundtrack is still the very tippity top of my playlists and is probably why they get played daily at this point. 
And after you realise that the songs in this movie are wrote by the duo who also wrote 2017's The Greatest Showman with Hugh Jackman, it makes a lot of sense as to why they are so damn good and memorable. We follow these characters on this journey through more locations and periods than at first you'd expect, and the humour and these songs and the overall cheeriness of the film is never too far behind either, as well as the odd cameo or two which, um, I wasn't surprised that and one of the songs do kind of spoil, but it all just makes for a very, very fun and entertaining watch. The movie isn't perfect, it has flaws as I touched on before, one of them is the runtime. It could have benefited from maybe 10-15 to 15 minutes being trimmed off, but I never found the length to be something that pulled me from the film, so it's more of a nitpick than it is a real problem or negative to me. And another one is, at times, this film can feel a touch bit uneven, but again, the overall film just held itself together so well that even the weaker parts of it absolutely never hindered my overall enjoyment of it. So if you're on the lookout for a great Christmas film, or even at this point just a great film, Spirited is my recommendation of the year. It is fantastic, it is a delight, it is a joy. I loved it so much, I cannot wait to just re-watch and re-watch and re-watch. And I hope more people find it and do the same with it. It is streaming now on Apple TV+. Plus. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this quick little Christmas special of sorts. I hope you enjoy the film if you do check it out. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Merry Christmas, guys. Bye.